The countdown has begun for the big guy in the red suit to come and visit all us good boys and girls. So we decided to start this week's Explore Tulsa with a guy who's sure to be on Santa's nice list because he's the boss of T-Town. Then working to get certified. Followed by lighting up Broken Arrow. Plus a treat for your holiday sweet tooth. Hi there, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. Welcome to December, and thanks for starting it with us on Explore Tulsa. And Trish, this is our 400th episode of Explore Tulsa. That's right, we've met and learned about over 1,500 Tulsa area folks with great stories to share. I still remember the first show we did together. Your hair was a little bit different color, and it's actually one of my favorite things to do is look at all the old shows and count all the changes of hair color and styles. The fun bun was my favorite, though. We should show a clip. I don't think that's gonna be necessary. And if I remember correctly, your hair used to be a little darker, too. Thanks to Just For Men, but you can just go on our YouTube channel and see all the changes for yourself. Well, helping Tolsons be aware of all our area's growth is my favorite part of doing Explore Tolson. And according to our new mayor, there's a lot more to look forward to in the coming years. For the first few months when uh, people would talk about the mayor, I would look around for the mayor. <laughs> On my dad's side, my great-great-grandfather was the mayor of Tulsa in 1899 and 1900. He ran just because he thought we ought to have a public school. And then on my mom's side, my uh, grandfather, Bob LaFortune, was street commissioner from 1964 to 70 and then mayor from 1970 to 1978. And then my cousin Bill, who's a judge now, uh, was mayor from 2002 to 2006. So, uh, you know, one in 10 mayors that we've had in the city's history have been members of my family. I'm the third youngest mayor we've ever had. Uh, so we had Mayor Maxwell back in the uh, 50s and 60s, who I think is one of the best mayors we ever had, uh, Jim Maxwell. Uh, he was elected when he was 31 years old, uh, and he served for eight years. Um, but he got our, our library system built, our, our international airport built, uh, our highway network really started. So many of the things that we love about Tulsa today started under Mayor Maxwell. And then uh, Terry Young, who was mayor in the mid-1980s, he beat me by like a month. Well, and I'm a, I, I love the history of Tulsa. And so I've spent a lot of time really throughout my life reading a lot about the history of our city, about the people who built it up. And the, the benefit of that is I see the things that hap have happened through our city, and it helps that my family's been here since the 1870s, so everything is personal. Um, but I, I see what happens in Tulsa in historical terms. And, and so what I see looking back is, especially in like just the last hundred years, you had these points in time where we really decided as a community to be world-class and pulled together and so many really talked about building the city up. And then we'd go through these periods of time where we felt good about ourselves and rested on our laurels and then would wake up. And so we had those periods of time and I feel like we're in another one of those periods of time right now. In the first year, our focus was really, uh, I would say, if you had to boil it down, it was on two big fronts. Uh, one was reorienting us from an economic development standpoint to being nationally competitive. So we will be physically transforming the city in the next five years. I mean, five years from now, we'll have a lake in the Arkansas River that'll be three miles long and 10 feet deep. We will have uh, the greatest public park gift in the history of the United States on the eastern shore of that. Uh, we'll have bus rapid transit lines here that are going to completely change the way that people think about public transportation in Tulsa. Uh, we're bringing USA BMX to the Greenwood District of North Tulsa. Uh, uh, we're opening up a simulator facility here so pilots from around the world will train at the Oklahoma Air National Guard and we're investing in the greatest collection of Western art in the world at Gilcrease Museum in a way that's going to bring people from around the country to see the Native American art there, Benjamin Franklin's copy of the Declaration of Independence, and now Bob Dylan's archive. All of that is being drawn to this one place. 
And then the other part of that is we're working to empower uh, Tulsans, uh, everyday Tulsans, to help make Tulsa safer. And this really gets back to kind of the, what people think of as like the, the good old days of policing, where you knew the police officer that patrolled your neighborhood or where your office was, you're on a first name basis, and if you saw something unusual, you wouldn't call 911 or the anonymous tip line, you'd call that officer. What we're doing is implementing what's called community policing, which is more of that old style model where we're developing relationships with citizens and officers so they can make a community safer. I pulled together a community policing commission and they gave us 77 different strategies that we need to deploy to make that happen in Tulsa and we're going to do all of those. And then we're also looking ahead, uh, we're going to be bringing up a streets improvement program but we're also going to reform the way that we're fixing our streets. Uh, we're bringing in uh, uh, former State Secretary of Transportation Gary Ridley, who's one of the top transportation minds in the nation. He's going to lead that to tell us how we can fix our streets more quickly and have less impact on commuters and businesses in those areas. I don't want us looking around and saying, oh, 400 other cities in America are doing this. We should be doing that too, and we're going to be 401. I want us looking around and seeing, what is no other city in America doing? Or what are three other cities in America doing that we can be one of the leaders and that other people will be saying, how can we do what Tulsa's doing? Uh, and we found that in a number of different areas. Uh, and so I'm excited for us to be a leader. That's what Tulsa ought to be. Our first time sitting with Mayor Bynum and I love his energy and enthusiasm. Everything he said made me excited about the future. To learn more about Mayor Bynum or catch a State of the City message, visit cityoftulsa.org. The mayor had all kinds of great things to say about building Tulsa and being an industry leader, which is all great news. And even local educators are getting set up to do the same. Just last week, RSU launched its new RSU Works online certification program. We'll learn all about it next when Explore Tulsa continues. Send me some love. Look at us. We woke up one morning with every song that ever mattered to anyone. So now what? Music's meant to be heard out loud where your life happens where you dance, where you love, and where you live. When everyone has every song ever written, what matters most is how you listen. Come here for yourself at Video Revolution. Hello, good to see you back for more Explore Tulsa. And a peek into the future of the industrial world of Tulsa, Trish, as RSU launches their new RSU Works program. Now, if you're looking to get a leg up in the job market, industry-specific certifications can put your resume on top of all the others. I'm gonna see if RSU offers a coho slash funny guy certification. I saw this three years ago and I came running back to the university and told the president, we need to get this thing done and done now, and he agreed. We got it. He saw the vision. It's not all about Royal. The president of this university saw the vision and he wanted us to go with it. It's take, it takes time to get any business launched. Always does, always will. And we're no exception. And it takes time to get this thing going. But he saw that this is a key factor in our relationships with the employers in Northeast Oklahoma. We want to be a partner with them. And this makes us that partner. Well, the program is called RSU Works. Uh, basically what this does is it offers over 4,000 certificated coursework material online uh, to our business partners across the state, also to individuals who are looking to get a certificate to get their career started. And it all started because one day I was at an industry meeting in public television and I was talking to the general manager of Vegas PBS and he was telling me how he stepped across this line in their county in, in Vegas where the county who issues food handlers permits really didn't want to do it anymore. And they were asking him on what would it take to develop all the videos for the training and such. And he said, well, if you don't want to do it anymore, why don't we still do it? We'll do it together, but you give me a cut of the food handlers proceeds. All of a sudden then he had a business plan or a business that he didn't even realize he had. Then he hires the former superintendent to Votech out there and she said, we got a business here. And if we bring in all of these companies who do all this online training, we have a business plan for workforce. 
And I saw that and I said, you know what, we got to bring that home here to Oklahoma because I know in Oklahoma companies are struggling to find workers. You know, everybody in Oklahoma who wants a job has a job because unemployment is so low. But what's that quality of that employee? We need to be in the space of helping our employers find the right people to work for them and get them trained. We know in Oklahoma by the year 2025, not everybody wants to go to university. Not everybody wants to go to career tech. So where do those, those young men and women go? How do they get a job? Well, we can help them by becoming a space filler. And that's all we are is a space filler. We're another tool in the toolbox for the industry to find that young man and young woman to get them a certificate so they can go out there and get that entry level position. Then you take it to the next level those who are already working. How do they increase their potential within that company? They do that by getting a certificate. And therefore, they can get that promotion or get that raise. We are offering on our website, RSU Works, working with different 15 industry categories, over 4,000 different certification opportunities. 300 of them, almost 400 of them, are nationally recognized. So they go from state to state. So the goal is, is to offer these all online. Because it's online, it's anywhere, anytime, on any media. So the reality of it is they can do it at home, do it on their phone, do it on their iPad, on their desktop, and do the training there. The beauty about this for industry, right now if an industry needs to send their people off for training, they have to send them to Oklahoma City or to Career Tech to a brick and mortar to get that training done. Well, they no longer have to do that. They can do that with us online and do it at the office or let them do that at home on their own time. However, that employer wants to work that out with the employee. RSU, the university owns it. We bought the rights to this portal from Vegas PBS. We now are licensed to do this statewide in Oklahoma. We have exclusivity with this brand statewide in Oklahoma. It expands what we can do here at the university, it most certainly does. Now these are not college credited courses, so let's not get that confused. These are just certificates. But what that does is it opens the door for that young man or that young woman once they get their certificate and they get that entry level job. If they want to go back to university, we're here to help them. RSU Works is such a great idea. So many businesses look for people with at least some knowledge of what they're going to be doing, and these certifications sound like a great answer. If you're ready to get started or learn more, visit rsuworks.com. I wonder if you have to be certified to be a Christmas light setting up expert. I think it's more of a, a job that's kind of a hobby thing, but let's just ask Robert Slankert when we join him as he puts the final touches on his home when Explore Tulsa continues. Take charge of your health. We are what we put into our bodies. We approach medicine from a unique standpoint. Rather than treating only the symptoms of an illness, we work to find the root cause and promote wellness of the entire body. Our clinic offers complete assessment and treatment programs, including hormone replacement therapy, osteopathic manipulative therapy, and genetic DNA testing. It all starts with a medical evaluation. Contact us today to begin your path to wellness. The box stores have come and gone, but Video Revolution is 35 years strong. Come see why. Video Revolution is the largest independent consumer electronics store in the region. For 35 years, we continue to have low, low prices and high customer service. Top brands like Sony, Samsung, LG, Yamaha, Sonos, Klipsch, and many more. Better than box stores in so many ways. Come experience the difference. The Video Revolution difference on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Ho, 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 it's nice to have you with us for more Explore Tools. I just love Christmas. Yeah, tell me something we all don't know. And you get in Stevie's car and it's non-stop Christmas music playing. You better believe it. Fa la 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 Maybe you can help me out, Mr. Christmas. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of putting some lights on my house. Do you think I need four or five boxes? <laughs> you are four or five. You're, you're just so cute. Try 40 or 50 for starters. <laughs> Look, let's just ask an expert like Robert and Lori Slankert. They know how to do it upright. Part of it is, I think, uh, early on, let's face it, when you become an adult, you uh, realize you can kind of buy whatever you want. I don't mean buy whatever you want, but rather than waiting on Christmas, you just go out and buy it. And, and not that Christmas isn't a very important religious holiday, which it is if you come 
to my place. But still, it's the presence. And when you can just buy your own stuff, that kind of loses a lot of it. And I don't know, whenever I started doing this in the early 90s, it became fun again. Really, it was uh, when we got married in 91, put uh, lights up on our house that year, and I bought my first blow mold, which is what we call the plastic people that you see. It was the Santa with the reindeer, and just loved it, and it was just a total addiction. Oh, I was excited. My family, my dad didn't like doing Christmas, so then I go the other extreme. I marry someone who's crazy about Christmas, and I love it. So we have a house where we entertain, and our, our gift is hospitality, so I really, I love it. I uh, taught uh, middle school English and literature at uh, a lot of places. It's Squalia Middle School in Broken Arrow, Central Middle School in Broken Arrow, and uh, Centennial. And mostly sixth graders, because they're so cute. My boys would always come by and they'd say, we like your dolls and your boxes. And just like, I'd say, a grown man doesn't play with dolls and boxes. He plays with telco motionettes in boxes. So they always razz me about that. But they loved it. Lots of them still come by. Um, I have a hundred thousand lights, uh, the little telco motionettes, which are the, the dolls that move. I have 35 of them on display right now, probably another 20 or so in the attic. Uh, the blow molds, which again are the plastic people, I'm probably over 150 this year. Uh, the yard art, which is the cutouts that you see, uh, there's 30 or 40 different types of those things. Um, the uh, wireframe mesh. 30 or 40 of those probably. Rubber ducks this year. See them on the pond. If you can stick a light in it, I'm doing it. And I still haven't gotten it all out yet, but uh, I think that's where we're at. I'm sure I've missed something. Everything's different every year. He never puts it out the same. And that's kind of exciting because people come and they'll see things different than it was here and they'll say, oh, you got something new. And I'm like, no, it was here. It was just hidden. So he'll move stuff around a lot and uh, that way you can see it in a different view. Well, he comes in with a lot of stuff from garage sales and he'll pull in at my shop where I work and he'll say, come out, look what I've got. And it'll be full of stuff. So um, there's not one thing, there's, he's just all the time. Probably the newest thing is he's been going garage selling now and he comes home with really neat stuff from antique stores, garage sales, and it's kind of like a little adventure now than just going to a store and finding something. Um, wife loves it. She's supposed to be the calming influence, the one with the self-control and she's the worst. I'll be somewhere and I'll say, oh, that's so cute, but we shouldn't buy that. We don't, shouldn't waste the money. She'll, oh, go ahead, go ahead. So, she doesn't help much. We're doing Broken Arrow Neighbors, and my husband worked with the tech department at Centennial Middle School, and they built a box to put uh, donations in, and so the kids chose to do Broken Arrow Neighbors, and now that he's retired, we've been continuing it, and uh, they do cash and, and canned goods. Terror at first, because you're always worried that, that you're gonna blow a breaker or something. I burned out the, the first two years we were here, I, the main breaker to the whole house, I burned it up twice, and it's embarrassing to say, but I did. Uh, I don't do that anymore, but still, you, that's always in the back of your mind. You're always, even when you know it's not gonna happen, you're still a little worried. Uh, so really, it's fear more than anything in those first few minutes. Then after about 20, 30 minutes, when everything's still on, and there's no smoke from anywhere, then it gets exciting. Oh, the kids. Always, 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 always the kids. Always. When you uh, when they drive by, you can hear them inside the car squealing. Oh, my. My dream, if I didn't live in a swamp, would be to be able to have a place where cars could just park, 10 or 15 or 20, and they could just park and get out and the kids can go crazy.
What a great Christmas gift for all to enjoy. Mm, be sure and put Robert and Lori's place on your tour of lights. Now look for their place in Broken Arrow at the corner of 101st and 197th East Avenue. Seeing all those lights has made me hungry. How can seeing Christmas lights make you hungry? From above, all the lights look like little sprinkles on Hertz Donuts. Mmm, donuts. If you're like Stevie, you'll want to stick around as we head downtown next on Explore Tulsa to visit Hertz Donuts. Hi, Dr. Robert Zellner here. For over 20 years, I've offered affordable, convenient eye care in Tulsa. Right now, you can get one pair of glasses or contact lenses starting at just $99 or my two-pair deal for $129. Hey, and as always, the eye exam's included. Walk-ins are always welcome. Glasses are ready in about an hour. Plus, we have over 2,000 frames to choose from. We're open seven days a week. Come see why we're voted Tulsa's best. And our drive to at 69th and Memorial makes pickup simple and easy. For the best eye care value in Tulsa, Dr. Robert Zellner & Associates. Hi there, and thanks for taking time off your holiday planning to enjoy some more Explore Tulsa. Hey, how about let's get to enjoying some donuts? Fine, but actually giving Hertz gift cards could be a great gift idea. Now you're talking my language. Opening every box is a colorful explosion of yummy happiness. And this is the beginning. Uh, you know, it's uh, the donut has a, has a, has a long history. Uh, Tulsa just loves donuts. I think everyone's got that story. You go to the donut shop for your first time with your parents, there's your mom and your dad, maybe you know, a relative took you in, but everyone remembers that first donut they had. Hertz Donut, it's you no know, started up in Springfield, Missouri about three years ago, and uh, just really kind of came down to a, wanted to do a, a, a big craft donut, uh, uh, something that was just tastes a little bit different, a little bit bigger. The confections, the big, the big fun things. You, know, you see a lot of uh, what they, uh, a lot of the uh, Food Network. Uh, television program going on. A lot of people are seeing these these uh, these mom and pop shops that are doing these really awesome things, and you know we wanted to do something like that but with donuts, and uh, this, is, this, is, this is what we came up with. And uh, the old the old joke, uh, you want to hurt's donut, hurt's donut. So it was uh, insane that it had never been trademarked, and we uh, we jumped on that. So I always wanted to own a restaurant. I'd been saving my money to do one, and then. Tim Clegg, the gentleman, we were playing golf and said, hey man, I, I started a donut shop, would you be interested? And uh, I, we played soccer in college together. And uh, I said, yeah, I, I guess. I never thought I'd be a donut, a donut guy, but here we are. And uh, couldn't be happier. You know, you, you go into these into, into, into a classic donut shop, and if you get there after, you know, 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning, you're, you know, it's slim pickings. You're, you know, you're, you're grabbing all the donuts that nobody else wanted, and uh, they've been sitting there for a little bit. And, uh, what we've done is just say we're going to make donuts 24 hours a day, and it, w it was a gamble. Uh, we didn't know if it would if it would play out, and it turns out donuts are loved around the clock uh, to the point where you, if you come in at three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, there's a line there, and so we uh, we just kind of took advantage on it and of, of it, and, and uh, definitely benefited. Our, our two biggest sellers, we've got the Maple Bacon Bar, which is a, it's a long john with maple uh, maple on the top, and then a lot of bacon and it's and we sell we sell probably about 20,000 of those a week and then we are our second most favorite we've got a uh, we have a a cookie monster donut and that sells another again 20,000 donuts of that a week that we go through that we sell and those are really popular it's, it's fun it's it, it's funky instead of just having your your basics you know we've got we've got donuts right now we've got a donut in the case it's uh it's called a rubber ducky it's it's got a peep on top of it and it's it, it's a fun one so you know, we're always coming up with new ideas and uh, trying to just kind of keep uh, keep pushing things forward and, and doing new things. We knew that Tulsa was going to be huge. It's the biggest market that we've that we've been in. A lot of people don't realize Tulsa is a big place. It's uh, I think 30, the 37th largest city in the United States. It's not a small place. Uh, it kind of has that small town feel. I think everybody kind of feels like they know each other. But it's a big place, and we thought we'd be busy. We didn't think that we'd be as busy as we were. We uh, we, we you know we exceeded expectations. Uh, and Tulsa keeps coming out. We've been, uh, you know, just humbled and blessed with uh, with everything that's gone on. There's a the taste difference. We hand make everything uh, in store, um, so it's that's the big fun process. When you come in, it's it's three hours from the time we put the donut in the mixer to the time it actually gets to the case. So what I've loved telling people: if you're in here and there's a three-hour wait, which happens from time to time, especially on the weekends, when you walk in the door and you're waiting for three hours, the donut that you that you're going to be eating was actually being created as you came in the front door and then by the time you get to the front that donut's in your is in your hand and you're getting to eat it. I mean it's talk about fresh. 
It, it's great. You know, it's a, we, we lucked out. We were blessed with our location. Um, we, uh, we were actually about to sign our place out in South Tulsa, and uh, we'd been looking, and, and we'd been looking for months, and we, uh, we were about to sign our, 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 our lease out there when our, our uh, agent said, hey, there's a place in the Blue Dome District. Are you interested in looking at it? Absolutely. We came down and fell in love with the building. It's 98 years old. Uh, it's, it's, it's been a few different things, but you know the location, right in the middle of it, a, a lot of uh, business owners that have come down and put their blood, sweat, and tears into the downtown area, we're, we're definitely coming in and, take, and you know being blessed and, and uh, taking advantage of that. And there's always something going on down here, it seems like. The PAC is put on, putting on great shows. The driller, Drillers just started up. The BOK over there. I mean, it's the arts festivals. We're in a, an amazing spot, and we, and we couldn't be happier. Now I'm even hungrier than before. Mm. Oh, speaking of gift ideas, you can now pick up a toy version of their Wambulance delivery truck. How cool is that? Pretty cool. Visit HertzDonutCo.com to learn more. Or better yet, stop in and try it for yourself at First in Detroit downtown. I like to think of Hertz Donuts like little Christmas wreaths at a Christmas party. The more the merrier. Stick around, there's more Explore Tulsa just ahead. Sony and Video Revolution take you there. From space travel to world championships. Tomorrow's technology today. 4K smart TVs and the largest flat screens available. Now more than ever, you have the best seat in the world when history is made. Video Revolution. On the northwest corner, 71st and Lewis. Hi, this is John David with USA BMX, and we're here for the Grand Nationals, and you're watching Explore Tulsa. Be sure and join us next week on Explore Tulsa when we learn all about the Tulsa Lantern Light Festival. Mm, special thanks to Mayor G.T. Bynum. Thanks for sharing your story with us. We look forward to all the great things coming our way in the near future. Mm -hmm. Thanks, too, to President Rice, Royal Ells, and everyone at RSU for bringing RSU Works to Oklahoma. Also, thanks to Robert and Lori Slankard for sharing their Christmas spirit with all of Tulsa with their fabulous light show. Plus, thanks to Chris Sheppers for keeping Hertz Donuts open 25 hours a day, eight days a week. Remember, if you miss any of the show, you can always catch us at ExploreTulsa.com. As always, each week we feature the people, places, and attractions that make us proud to call Tulsa our home. And hey, don't forget to like us on Facebook and share with us someone you think Tulsa should know more about. Plus, remember, Explore Tulsa is brought to you by Video Revolution. Located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Stop by, say hello to Ron and all the guys for all your home entertainment needs. And Explore Tulsa is also proudly brought to you by Dr. Robert Zillner and Associates. And with Tulsa's best eye care value with two locations, 3016 South Harvard and 69th and Memorial. And we welcome our newest sponsors, Drs. Mark and Michelle Sherwood at 61st and Sheridan. Remember, your journey to whole body healing and wellness begins at the Functional Medical Institute. Well, that's all the time we have for you on this week's show. But we'll see you next week right here on Explore. Tulsa.